finding the roots of a quadratic equation with leading coefficient greater than 1. We're asked to solve for you and what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this as a quadratic being equal to 0 and we're going to do that by setting it equal to 0 and then we can take that quadratic and factor it as two binomials equal to zero and then we can use the zero product rule to set each one of the binomial terms equal to zero so either that one or that one's going to be equal to zero but first things first we need to have a quadratic equal to zero in order to do this so we need to rewrite this and we don't have it equal to zero because we've got terms on both sides but I need to turn this into a quadratic equals to zero so I'm gonna move the terms to one of the sides and to decide which side I always want the leading coefficient to be positive and right now on the right hand side that leading coefficient is positive so let me just rewrite what we have equals 2u squared since I want to keep that leading coefficient positive I'm gonna move those terms from the left hand side over to the right hand side by doing the opposite I'm gonna add 11u add 11u to both sides and then I'm also going to add 5 to both sides and that's gonna cancel the minus 5 so I have 0 equals 2u squared plus 11u plus 5. So I have 0 equals my quadratic and now I need to factor that quadratic. So on the right hand side I know that this is going to factor into two binomials or at least if I'm going to get a solution it's going to factor into two binomials. So I'm just going to use trial and error here using trial and error since I have a 2u squared that means that it has to be 2u and u and then whenever I do the outside and the inside I need to end up with an 11u I need to end up with an 11u but I need them to multiply to be 5 and since they're multiplying to 5 that means I only have one choice 1 and 5 and since everything's positive, I need a positive 1 and a positive 5. If they're going to add up to 11, it looks like I'm going to need to put the 5 here and the 1 here. That way it gives me a 1u and it gives me a 10u, which adds up to the 11u that I needed for the middle term. So it looks like we have this thing factored. And since it's factored, I know that 0 equals the factored terms, 2u plus 1, times u plus 5. So, the zero product rule says if you have two things being multiplied and the result is 0, one of those two things has to be 0. So, let's take the first one, 2u plus 1, perhaps that one's equal to 0. And if it is equal to 0, we can solve it and subtract the 1 over to the other side. Subtracting the 1 gives me 2u equals negative 1. And then divide the 2 over. Dividing the 2 gives me u equals negative 1 half. So that's one possible solution. Of course, the other one would be what if the u plus 5 were equal to zero. Those are my two possibilities, either 2u plus 1 or u plus 5. So solving that one, subtracting the 5 over, gives me u equals negative 5. So we have two solutions, either negative 5 or negative 1 half. We were told back in the instructions that we could separate multiple answers with commas so I'm gonna say my answer is negative one half comma negative five